Boing Boing teamed up with Institute for the Future and Sun Microsystems to create the Digital Open, an online tech expo for teens 17 and under around the world. Now meet one of the winners. I'm Brennan Williams, I'm 15 years old, and I live in Burlingame, California. Uh, BW Science Labs has been in the making for about two years. Uh, it started out as just a way for me to document uh, my research and all of, all of my projects, and it really just grew from there. Here I have a uh, very old computer that I just bought from my friend for five dollars. And usually this would be useless, but the reason why I'm using it is because it'll make a brilliant server. Uh, as a little project, I coded my own server in Python. I started programming when I was about 10 or 11 uh, in several languages, so my love has really grown from there. Uh, I use microcontrollers like the basic stamp, but now more of a uh, pickaxe programming kind of a guy. I can't live without a soldering station. I use it to uh, wire it to uh, solder joints together in circuitry. Um, if I'm building a robot or just you know making LEDs blink, I need my soldering station. It's incredible to me that you can take bits of copper and silicone uh, and plastic and put them together to simulate something you know, that's autonomous, that can think for itself, uh, that can interact with its environment. So this is kind of how I started out, piecing together things, and uh, this is one of my latest robots. There we go. One of the biggest problems with today's generation is that, one, we're not science literate, and we need our generation to be inspired more. Because you know, if you look at the heroes of the younger generation today, they're mainly rappers, musicians, and people who wouldn't really inspire kids to go out and create. If you start out from something basic and you think, wow, this is a really cool device or robot or whatever that I've built, and then you can put the plans out and someone maybe who's smarter than you or just as curious as you can modify them and make it even cooler and have even, uh, even more benefits. I mean, if we didn't have open source technology, I have no idea what, I wouldn't be here. I would be on Facebook or worse, MySpace. <laughs>